I'm Betty White, and you're watching the Veterinary News Network. The dream of working in animal medicine is one that many people have, but few will ever realize. As you will see, becoming a doctor of veterinary medicine takes more than a love for animals. The process of earning the degree and then earning the trust of clients requires many years of work and dedication. You're probably close to your pets as they're part of the family, but consider the millions of agriculture animals and horses that also need health care. Then think of the groundbreaking research that can improve life for both animals and people. Now you're realizing how diverse a degree in veterinary medicine really is. Becoming a veterinarian is full of challenges, expense, and sacrifice, but those who graduate will tell you it's an incredibly rewarding profession and career. So how do you become a veterinarian? First, you need a strong high school experience with good grades in math and science. This is also a great time to find a job working with animals in some way. Become involved with 4-H or FFA, or even volunteer at local <laughs> animal shelters or veterinary clinics. Then a minimum of two to four years of undergraduate studies in a pre-medical curriculum is needed before you apply to veterinary school. Competition is fierce. There are only 28 schools of veterinary medicine in the United States, and they accept less than 3,000 students in a year. This means excellent grades and good animal experience are needed. Once accepted into professional school, a new student will find their days filled with lectures on physiology, anatomy, microbiology, and so much more. Whether in large lectures or small labs, veterinary students spend their days absorbing a dizzying amount of science and basic medicine. As students move through four years of postgraduate education, they become more exposed to a wide variety of hands-on experiences, from learning to perform physical exams and monitoring hospitalized patients, to participating in daily rounds and surgery in the teaching hospital. These soon-to-be veterinarians are seeing their education come together and are eager to put their hard-earned knowledge into practice. After graduation, the studying is not over. Before a young veterinarian can be licensed to practice, they must pass state and national board exams and then continue their education by keeping up to date with new treatment protocols and technology with required continuing education. All of this is done to make sure veterinarians will provide the best diagnostics and treatments of animals and at the same time stand on the front lines of our community's public health. Not all veterinarians will go directly into practice. Many serve in the military. Others become board certified in many specialties. Still others find rewarding careers in research, keeping our nation's zoo animals healthy, and even teaching the next generation of veterinarians. The DVM degree is truly a degree of diversity and worth the time and sacrifice that it takes. For the Veterinary News Network, I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys.